Bam. Welcome to the Advocates for Justice Pro Se Litigation Lawsuit School. I'm Coach Neighbors, and yeah, we changed the name again. Uh, Pro Se Litigation Lawsuit School. That's what we changed the name to. So we, uh, the attorneys didn't like my teachable course, my online course. They didn't like my school I had on their program. So now I have my own school. I'm, I'm building my own school on my own program. So, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing now. They're going to have to work harder than that to get in my way. So I'm Coach Neighbors, and tonight we're going to be reviewing a few of the options um, to, to use when the players are ignoring your documents. And I'm hoping that you guys bring some options to the table about what you about what you guys have been doing, and uh, and also we want to get your your head in the right frame of mind so you can learn how to stop being a defendant. And then in the end, I'm going to share a little information about uh, about Teachable terminating my uh, my online courses. Before we get uh, to all that, you guys make sure you click on those ads so that I can get to Ching Chang for bringing you guys the thing thing. <laughs> okay, I made all those words up. Make sure you guys click on those ads so so I can get paid, so YouTube can pay me and make up the difference between having my stuff affordable and cheap, cheap and affordable, inexpensive. Maybe we'll use that word because we don't want to use cheap. <laughs> uh, and I've got a few good reviews in this week from other people, and we've had a lot of people sign up and invest in in the program in the last uh, last few weeks. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to open up the private group to anybody that has a item number or uh, order number. That's what it's called, order number. That's what my website shows when you check out. You get an order number. So if you send me a request to join the private coaching group, you're going to need to put that order number in the request or I'm just going to click it away. So. I want the group to be, and, and you need to remember, if you bring the wrong stuff to the group, they'll have no problem kicking you out of the group. Um, the lawsuit package that you invest in, the online course or whatever, the group stuff, the coaching, all that stuff is extra. It's not what you're paying for. What you're paying for is the information that you get at the download or in the course when you when I get the course back up and running. That's what you're paying for, and all of the rest of everything is icing on the cake. Um, I, I want to remind you guys uh, that come from Facebook to go to uh, to go to this uh, to go to this website here and give StreamYard permission to use your Facebook name. Otherwise, when you make a comment, you just show up as Facebook user, and we like to know who we're talking to when people have something to say. SPK, welcome to the show tonight, buddy. I'm hoping to have a bunch of new people tonight because we got some new people in the program that invested in the packages and getting ready to uh, smack somebody up in the face a whole bunch of times. Welcome to the program, and we're going to keep rolling. Um, so the reasons why the players ignore your documents. Now, I want you guys to throw in your comments in here if there's reasons why they ignored your documents that, that I don't have mentioned here if you think they're important. So, if you think they're important, you might want to throw that. Okay, it's, you, <laughs> you got to know what I mean. So, the main reason that I think that I've seen uh, the main reason for them ignoring the documents that I've seen is a lack of proper service. That That is, is the main reason. Now, we're going to talk about this, and then we're going to talk about some options uh, about that we can be doing 
to make sure you're in the right frame of mind and that you have these and, and that you know about these options. So we're going to talk about that and then we're going to touch on on the teachable thing. And I'm going to show you guys the email that they sent me, uh, that the attorney sent me pretending to be an employee. <laughs> Bitch ass. Yeah, that's all right. That's all right. This program was built. It was structured on 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 uh, on dealing with their punches, pretty much. It was structured on dealing with their punches. They pull this crap, and then we figure out another way to get it done. And so uh, that's what they do. That's what uh, we do here. We figure out a way to get it done. Now, one of the things I want to tell you guys also is if you invest in the forty two USC nineteen eighty three. Uh, civil rights package. I have several of them for several different things. If you invest in one of those packages, you can be doing all this other stuff in the 465 videos. Okay, it's not going to help you. If you invest in that package, you have to stick with the instructional video for that package and not do all that other stuff. Now, that other stuff was for different things here, there, whatever, when they tried different stuff. But here's the thing. That other stuff is what is 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 what guided us to where we are now mm. okay that other stuff is what guided us to where we are now instead of doing that other stuff challenging jurisdiction and asking them to agree instead of doing all of that stuff where in the end you're asking them to agree instead of doing all that okay we're now uh suing them for the day-to-day -day state process and procedures that rob you of of your due process and that Rob Basin, <laughs> uh, okay, I didn't do that. That robbing of your due process is what lined your ass up in in their administrative court process to to have either have your your property yanked from you or 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 your uh, or your freedom. So. So, you know, and and we've learned this from all of those videos and all of that stuff. We've learned. Instead of arguing their lies, we're better off to sue them for the reason that you're here. And the reason that you're here is because they registered your deed in their office and, and created a real estate deed fraud and allowed the first illegal lien to be put on your property. And you know, we, we went over that. <laughs> and, uh, it was a mortgage lien uh, because the fact they accepted your signature uh, proves that you own the property already. I mean, if, if you didn't own the property, you couldn't assign for it. So I'm I'm uh, I'm not as smart as attorneys, so I have to keep this shit simple. So that's the very first reason uh, that your lack of service. Now. Uh, another reason high on the list is failure to state a claim. Uh, excuse me. It's failure to respond to their lie that you didn't state a claim. Because if you use my stuff, you stated a claim. But they're going to go for broke, and they lie every time their mouth's open. So they're going to lie to you and tell you that you didn't state a claim or whatever. And when your eyes get big, <laughs> they're going to know they got your ass right where they want you. Pretty much. Now, I had a person that was in this situation, and they just ignored her stuff and was moving forward. And after we got to talking, um, this came up, failure to state a claim. And, and, and this person said to me, oh, well, I've been in the house for you, whatever, whatever. And like, no, that's not what this means. So my suggestion is to look up stuff before you assume. Everything that you thought you knew about the legal situation, about this or whatever, or whatever was is crap. Okay, you might as well just throw it out because you can't use none of it in, in my non-conventional program or you open up the doors for the arguing to start. And then when the arguing's over, everybody does, uh, gets to help them. And so we all know how that works. And the state is the one that's actually stealing your property or locking you up without an injured party or damaged property. And the state is one paying the judge, so look, look at conflict of interest. Oh, wait, the state's paying the prosecutor and the police. <laughs> the state's paying everybody except your ass. Okay, sorry, I, I got a little carried away. So failure to state a claim, I think, is, uh, is one. Now, you can go to my YouTube channel, and you can, um, you can go to my channel. Oops. 
and you can review uh, the instructional videos, the updated instructional videos. You can review all of that stuff before uh, before you even have to make a decision on anything. So, uh-oh, someone's. Oh, they're trying to get me to use the live viewer comments. No, thank you. We'll use them anyway. We already use them. Apparently, your videos refuse to let me hear. I don't know what your problem is there. Uh, maybe you could go to and give go to this link and give uh, StreamYard permission to use your Facebook name, and then we can at least see who you are. So I don't know. I'm thinking if I wasn't, if everyone couldn't hear me, that someone, other people would be telling me that they can't hear me. Okay. Let's move forward. Well, I can hear myself too, so. <laughs> uh, maybe uh, those fake people have been staying out of my face because I don't really put up with them very well. Thank you, Irvin. Welcome, you guys. Welcome, uh, Elizabeth. And Elizabeth sent sent me a nice uh, a nice review email, and she's doing pretty good with her forty two USC. Uh, I was punching somebody in the face. All right, Sherer can't hear me too. Welcome. We should have a few new people tonight because we have some people that invested in the program, getting ready to get some stuff done. And I think that's what Teachable was mad about. You guys saw the one video um, that I posted about Nikki Ross. She's also a legal coach, and she, she's, on the internet, she's on Facebook. Um, she, do, she has some kind of a business helping you get funds back or whatever, and she's stepping up. Um, she left me a real nice video about a lady she had helped, or a person, I don't know if it was a lady, a person that she would helped uh, get their deed uh, delivered to them. And the uh, debt letter, there's a debt letter, there's a debt something else letter, it's called something else. Um, because there were two closings on, on, on our property, and we didn't know about the second one. Apparently, um, this lady that was getting her property, uh, the clerk liked her. And told her that you know if she wants to totally get it out. She needs to get the debt, the debt letter, or something called debt letter uh, that had to do with her property too. So she requested that, and she got both of them, the deed and the debt letter. So um, she's that person is not. <laughs> if the deed's not in their office, I don't, I don't think they can verify that there's, there's a. Yeah, that's that's one of the reasons why they were they don't they don't like me telling people that. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't I don't know why. Okay, yeah, I do know why. But they can stick in the eye. <laughs> because I'm gonna say what I need to say. Um now one of the reasons why they ignore your filing is because you filed a fee waiver. And I'm just going to tell you right now, you know, I mean, if you have no other options, you know, a fee waiver might stall some time for you. But when you come to the table with my fire, the fee waiver, they're not going to. No, I, I don't. I haven't seen anybody get through with a fee waiver yet. Anyway. Oh wait, no, not through. They let you in, and then they throw your shit out later on when they get done <laughs> watching people flop around. The fee waiver, they dismissed the fee waiver stuff uh, on the grounds uh, because of a statute that was passed that had to do with um, prisoners, had to do with prisoners. You look it up. 
Look it up. It's stupid. But I don't waste any time worrying about that because if you can't, you know, you're going to be struggling. If you can't pay the file, then you can't pay to serve or serve the people. You can't, you know, it just, I don't know what to tell those people. But you need to uh, not file the fee waiver. That's just going to give them opportunities to kick you to the curve. Now, this one should be near the top of the list, but I try not to get on my bitch wagon before we get rolling, okay? Um, one of the reasons why people's document get ignored is because they fail to watch the updated instructional videos and they fail to watch the videos for the package they invested in. The updated instructional videos uh, were structured based off of real-time feedback from people in the group and people not in the group um, about what attorneys were slick, slick rig stuff they were trying to do. And <clears throat> this is also the reason why, <clears throat> why you can't connect all of the 400 videos in your first step. Until you get the first step done, they react to your stuff. You need to be working on that instructional video play uh, playlist to watch the videos there and working from there. Not trying to do all the fancy Dan stuff. Keep it simple. Uh, and the next one is connected to usually when people don't watch instructional videos, they're, they're using my document as conventional documents, and that's not going to help you. Because if you're using my documents as conventional documents, you're waiting for them to answer. Whereby they're just going to start your ass out of time, move you up on the eviction list, and get all that rolling, and send the popo out to your house to get you out of their house. Well, it is it is their house because they have the deed. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just saying. They have the deed. As long as they have the deed, they have the house. So let's just get to talking about what you came to hear. You, you guys didn't come to hear me talk about all the shit y'all did wrong. <laughs> uh, so the options. Let's talk about some options. Now, these options should help you get your head in the game for where you need to be. Okay. Now, the first option that I like, and it's not the first one that's the most important, uh, but it could be. The first option that I like is placing your records, your your documents in the public record. Placing your documents in the public record. I think it costs like ten dollars, and they get a little stamp thing going on there, and so that I think it means like it's in comrades or something. I I've been reading about this, but I haven't got too far on it because I've been a little busy, especially since they I have to make a new school. <laughs> Uh, anyway, place in your documents uh, in the public record. Now, I think that ties to court's hands with a bunch of stuff that, that goes down. Now, here's another tip, too, that I just thought of on top of my head. The other thing that I like to do is I like to mail a copy of your document uh, after you write in black marker, chamber copy, and mail it to the judge I like to do priority mail because I can afford that. And they're making me do, do I, I used to file a whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> uh, so I do priority mail and I would send it to the judge. So the judge, because a lot of the times the clerk's running the show and the judge act like they don't know because they don't know. They don't see nothing, so they don't know. They keep their head in in the sand. In the sand. I was, I was going to say sand. They keep their head in the sand. So uh, by doing that and sending that shit straight to the judge uh, is going to help put you in, different, in, a, in a different position. Placing your stuff on the public record, uh, uh, it blocks the court from doing a lot of the things that they like to be doing. Um, now, here's a good one. Blocking the state from receiving federal funding. Yeah, I have that temporary restraining order on my website. It's very expensive, but I have it marked down very, very low. <laughs> Um, yeah, I have it marked down to the sale price, the same sale price the uh, non-judicial lawsuit package is is on. And I think I might have to make a correction on on, on the on the non-judicial lawsuit package. Uh, so we're going to see what we need to do about that. So all the people who invested in that, I'll have uh, I'll have a, a, an update for you 
And, and I'm trying to add it to the thing now, but I'm ha- I bought a new computer, and so I'm having trouble finding a few things. I, I'm sure it, I'm sure it's not the new computer. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm pretty sure it's not the new computer. Hey, Nathaniel, you're welcome, man. This is this is this is what I do. They 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 pissed off the wrong black man. <laughs> so I'm very creative. I'm I'm gonna figure out a different way to uh Um no uh, I can answer your questions when I get done, Elizabeth. This your question would be more for the Facebook uh group. Uh, you know, and like I said, I'm going to open that up so everyone that's in, in the group, and if I've already been communicating with you recently, then you don't have to worry about trying to find your, your user, your uh, order number. But that's a, uh, that'll be a question for for the group because I want to get this information uh, done here. That's where I do the coaching on Facebook. So, and I have people posting questions and stuff, and I try to answer them, but I don't have time to spend a lot of time here. And I'm already on Facebook answering everybody else's questions, so I don't have time to answer those questions over there and over here. And if you get in the group, then you can see what everyone's saying. And uh, I'm pretty sure that your question has been answered at least, okay, at least once, okay. <laughs> So block the state from receiving federal funding. The TRO that I structured for this, I, 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 well, okay, so one day I got to thinking, hmm, I wonder if I can kind of stop the state court from getting money. Hmm. And it took me a while. I'm a little hard-headed. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, we got it. We can block the state from receiving federal funding. And the reason, the way that works is, According to the spending clause in the Constitution, the federal government can block the state from receiving federal funding if they violate your due process, the due process of state citizens, or uh, the Fifth Amendment right. So those are the two that that force them. And they're violating your due process as soon as they register your deed in their office instead of delivering it to you like it says on, the sta- on their uh, statute. So that's, you know, and then... Uh, and then they attack you and try to take your property and then pay the judge to rule in, in, in their favor. It sounds crazy, don't it? <laughs> uh, so blocking the state funding. Now, I'm, I'm hoping that you're kind of getting your brain uh, over in the right side here. And some other people can come up with some, some ways uh, to block to block these people from continuing to ignore uh, ignore your stuff. So now uh, one of the things that I do is I file for sanctions uh, against the attorney. Uh, you know, if you have now I don't do all this stuff out the gate. I do that. You do this one at a time. Beat them down, and we and you can actually file sanctions against the judge is also because the judge is a, a member of the bar, and part of that sanction motion. Well, you're going out there for a due process violation, and so you, oh yeah, they don't, they don't even want to, want to. And I, I actually have a sanction motion uh, challenging the jurisdiction. Uh, this sanction motion is in the eliminator prosecutor package. Uh, there are two sanction motions for three point five million dollars. They're like mini lawsuits that you file in criminal court to stop against the criminal prosecutor. And one sanction motion challenging for them failure to do Rule 11 and violate your due process. The other sanction motion is for uh, is for them. Um, they don't have jurisdiction, and they don't have jurisdiction because the statute that they're using to foreclose on you or to lock your ass up in jail is not a valid law because it doesn't have an action clause, doesn't have a title, and doesn't have a body. So it's not a valid law. And if you look up what a statute is, you're going to look it up right now. It's a policy, a rule. Um, yeah, right above that it says a law by a governing uh, uh, No, it's not a law by a governing uh, No, because in order for that to happen, the legislators have to do it. They have to have all these three things, and none of their stuff has any of those things. So could it be that easy? Yep, it could be that easy. That guy that Nikki's working with or a person, 
Uh, no offense to God, it's the person that nigga was working with got their property deed and they didn't even have to file the challenge property tax lawsuit package. I, I guess the letter was. <laughs> okay, but you know what? I don't, you know, Nikki works on, she's her own coach over there. She has her own business and her own program. But I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to assume that that person that went down and uh, punched these people in the face watched the instructional video a whole bunch of times. I bet they read the stinking document a whole bunch of times. I, I'm pretty sure they understood it or they wouldn't have been able to keep it simple with the judge. Judge, uh, why should I do that? Uh, because there's no law that says my shit should be in your... <laughs> uh, done. Judge ain't... No, now the judge ass is on, on... on. Oh, wait, we already was getting ready to add him, but uh, in the property tax, you don't really... You want to give him a chance to do the right thing first, so you run around spending doing all this stuff, and then they go sit down. <laughs> and so, yeah. Uh, Nikki's doing a great job of coaching her people, and it's a uh, uh, it's a great it's a great opportunity for others to see uh, what's getting done. So the sanction motion can be filed um, against a judge or or the attorney that's uh, that's ignoring this stuff, or or even the clerk. I never filed against the clerk, but that sanction motion is badass. It I mean, it, <laughs> it's some of my best work. Uh, now, the other thing that you can do is add the court clerk supervisor. Yeah, not 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 the clerk. You want to add the court clerk supervisor to your claim. And what I do, you know, you don't really want to have to do that because that means you got to do a bunch of work and all that shit. But what I would do was make a notice of claim letter and send it to the clerk. You know, so, now, if it's really bad and you're about to get evicted, you ain't got time for that shit. Then you got to do what you got to do. Okay, that's what we do here. We got to do what we got to do. <laughs> we don't care about the blood. We got to do what we got to do. Now, this is uh, a trick that I did with a friend of mine. I can't talk about her case anymore, but she was my <laughs> she was my friend that I that I uh, that I knew ever since I was born because she's a year or so older than me. But anyway. What we did was we added the attorney's property to your counterclaim. Now, we we're in judicial foreclosure, so we weren't facing an eviction process. So when you're not facing an eviction process, you can do the counterclaim, and just after you add the state and the judge and the attorney to it, you can do the counterclaim. And then you add the attorney's property as damages. And so here's the, here's the sweet thing about that. When you do that, when you do that, you have to look up their property and see who the owners are, right? So now you need to add all of the owners. So you're going to add the attorney's spouse. <laughs> you're going to add the attorney's spouse. You're going to add the attorney's spouse to your counterclaim and to your federal lawsuit that you file because the spouse's name is on the property that you're including in the attorney's foreclosure lawsuit. <laughs> uh-huh. We have a lot of power. We just need to learn how to use it and have the courage to step up to the plate. We need to have the courage to step up to the plate. And, well, it helps when you have the tools. Ah, that's what you get here. You get the tools at Pro Se Litigation Lawsuit School. That's what we're going to call it. And we're opening up the new school. We'll show you guys what that looks like later. So I, I've discussed a handful of options that you can use to jumpstart your attack mode and thinking uh, to come up with your own ideas. Elizabeth, this, uh, you need to hit me up uh, on Facebook. That's where I do the coaching. This is not a coaching session tonight. This is a learning session tonight. 
and I can't, you know, I, I'll, I'll answer questions if the if the group cares, but the group doesn't really care about. <laughs> no offense about your particular situation. So you need to hit me up with that in in Messenger and, uh, on Facebook. That's where I do the coaching. You can either message me or you know, I think I'm pretty sure you're in the group. Hello, Mary. Welcome to the show tonight, Mary. Have you got your documents and got yourself in the ring? <laughs> okay, let's let's get moving here so we can wrap this up. Um, so the online courses, I'm going to show you the email that they sent me, and we're going to talk a minute about that. The online courses, so the link to the Facebook page is on my website, and it's easier to ask me there for it, uh, Nathaniel, because here I have to go move and go do all this stuff where everybody's waiting for me to finish my thing, so. These questions, you guys can find out on your own. I'm going to let you go find them out. You got to remember, my job's not to make it easy for you. <laughs> yeah, my friend cringes when I say that. But it's true. My job is not to make it easy for you, but to help you learn. So anytime you can go to Google and find something, that's where I'm going to send you. And the people that's in a hurry shouldn't be in my program. So <laughs> and that's just the way this is going to roll. Okay, so the online course, I lost my two online courses. Um, the people that signed up in the last 30 days got a refund. And so far, all of those people have contacted me to pay me back except one person. And that one person I emailed a couple of times in the beginning when they enrolled in the course, and I haven't heard from them. So that may be a scam person. I don't know. So that was really cool that everyone found uh, found value uh, to make sure that I got paid. Now, they shut down the school, so none of those people had access to any of my stuff. And, and the good thing about it is I have my stuff, so they didn't, I just, I have some things I'm having trouble finding right now <coughs> because my computer is so big, my new computer is huge. Uh, but I'm going to get all that worked out. And I've got an adjustment to make to the not in judicial course that I have on sale right now for 200 bucks. I can't believe I'm selling it for 200 bucks. But this is my way of getting back at these teachable uh, attorneys that are getting in my face and causing me, uh, causing me to have to do this extra work. But uh, as you can see, uh, the extra work is going to pay off because we're going to have a brand new course. I have a brand new website set up specifically for, uh, for the online courses. And I'll be hosting my own course on my own website. So the only other person that can kick me off is my boss. And he likes me. Sometimes. Most of the time. <laughs> You're welcome, Nathaniel. Well, good luck, Mary. Uh, I have my my package is structured based off of like I said, you know, the feedback from people in my group. <coughs> so it's totally different, and you can't connect my stuff to what you're already doing. Um, I had a young man call me trying to help his mother. Well, actually, his mother called me, and then um, she let me talk to him, and he didn't agree with what I was doing, and he was talking about uh, getting money and doing all this other stuff, these uh, administrative things. And they're not going to help you. <laughs> I, I've seen a lot in the time that I've dedicated my life to doing this. And those administrative procedures, uh, being a secured party creditor, all of that stuff. The only thing that I see that helps you, and it doesn't really help you, it should stop the process immediately, but it doesn't. But it does protect your ass from the police. And that's the state citizenship uh, situation and that's one of the main things that the idiot dude was uh, was talking about so I'm going to share uh, I'm going to screen share and show you guys uh, maybe
the email that I received. Well, maybe not. I had it queued up here, but I don't know what happened to it. I'm going to show you guys the email um, that they sent me. There we go. Now I need to do a screen share. I'm going to put my website on here, so anybody that hasn't been to the website. Okay. Okay. I don't. I didn't pick the right screen. Boy, they changed the settings again on here. Okay, here we go. Yeah, this is not working out very well. Well, we're just going to uh, do the screen share another time. I'll make a video and post it on there. Mary, we we don't sue, we don't sue, and all of you, all this stuff you're talking about is conventional stuff. Okay, we sue them for the state process and procedures, the day-to-day -day state process and procedures. I don't talk about fraud. I don't talk about statute of limitations. You need to just get your packets and get and get rolling. You're just making things more complicated. More <laughs> complicated than it has to be. I didn't talk about none of that stuff. I don't care how long it's been. I, I, don't, I don't, none of that matters. I don't have anybody that's, uh, that's, um, that did everything the right way and, uh, and it's not still in the house, so. And there is my email address um, in case anybody has any questions. I'm getting pretty busy, so. I know at some point I'm not going to get to all of the emails. The idea is going to be to be able to communicate with everybody uh, as a group in, in, the, in the Facebook page. And then that way other people will see what's been said so I don't have to say the same thing to everyone individually.
So that's what. And I'll tell you right now, I hate to go over what I already talked about. So if, <laughs> if you're the kind of person I got to check and check and check and check, you probably already heard me say that and get a little grumpy about that because I hate to go over the same stuff. It's in the video. You need to do it. People get so freaked out about making a mistake and they don't realize that shit don't matter. You can make a mistake and still correct it. That's the way the program is set up unless you wanted to do their uh, their stuff. <laughs> uh, where you listen to everything they have to say. You're welcome, Mary. So uh, that's all I have for tonight. I want to thank you guys for the value of sharing your time. Uh, get over to the website if you're facing these problems and get what you need. And do some punching. Day day. Welcome, buddy. Hey, you went over and then clicked the link. Slick. Now we can see who you are. Welcome to the group, man. But we about to go. I got to get back to work and get to working on that course. I'll see you guys in the next stream or the next video in the next video stream. Good night, everybody.